it's Q with Hold and Modify back again with now, I promise, a super short video. This is just an update to that SMB networking I was doing in the previous video. I mentioned that I was going to try and get uh, SMB 2 slash 3 working on these modern uh, you know, networking cards and heck, even the old networking cards uh, using the uh, currently work in progress port of SMB 2 uh, from Amiga OS 4. So it isn't done yet, and there's a bunch of people working on it. In fact, there's somebody who's um, working on an AREX script that, that'll bring up a fancy GUI to make you configure it, so you don't have to do what I'm doing right now. But it's not that hard to actually jump into the shell and configure this. So the first thing you're going to need is the files from my previous video that were in the description. I'll put them in this video as, as well. But it's the SMB2 handler, okay, which I, I can, I'll provide the link for that. And then you need a library file, which you can get on Amunet. And you copy that library file into the libraries. You drop the SMB2 handler into your L. And then you just need to create this script, this uh, file, this mount list to run. And it's a really simple thing to do because they even they even include it in their, in their, what do you call it, their example text file that says readme that I never actually read all the way. And as you can see there, um, nothing too complex. Obviously where it says user, that would be your username for the share and then the password for the, sh the share, the server and the, and the share folder that you're trying to share. And then after you do that, provided you have a TCP stack running, and of course you should, which I mentioned that in the other videos, of course, uh, this is all a multi-step process here, folks. We're gonna say quit, don't wanna save that. Uh, I want to quit. It's not gonna let me, okay. Uh, anyway, uh, so well I know how to use Amiga shell. See, I don't, don't know how to use Amiga shell so badly that, that uh, well, no, I don't know how to use Amiga shell so well that I don't even know how to quit this without it saving. See, that's terrible, isn't it? So then I end up with this file called Amiga stuff, and that's just this file you're seeing here. And when you run it, lo and behold, boop, it'll pop up your, uh, your Windows share in this case. And yeah, I don't have SMB1 turned on on anything, and it shows all your folders for you. And in fact, we go into images here. This is my Lightwave images folder. It's gonna take a second. Now remember, um, I don't know if directory caching is a factor in this, but this is a big, big folder here. So this is kind of cool. Again, this is uh, OS 3.2.1 with an 060, and this is just a regular 4000 AGA. I'm using one of those uh, cheap uh, converter boxes from China to, to go to HDMI, so that's why you're seeing some, maybe some artifacting around the mouse pointer and whatnot. But you know, the box is okay, it does the job, and you can adjust the scale. I spent a long time today making sure that the aspect ratio was correct, so that circles are circles. Did the same thing for the uh, 1200 over there, the Mark III. So we're finally in parity with that little nonsense. But yeah, let's say we go ahead and double click on this JPEG and this is loading over the network. Boom, there you go. There's the JPEG of my Apple um, for my animation of the Apple floating on the water. Um, let's see, Chrome, that's gonna be exciting. Oh, error minus eight. Okay, I can't load Chrome. What about earth.map? I don't even know what the dot .map format is. Does the Amiga know what that is? Apparently it does. Wow, whoa, oh, that's a big map of the Earth. But again, look at this, we're pulling this over the network. Uh, fractal reflections, everyone's favorite. Oh, it's so pretty, right? Look at that, use that for everything. So that's it, SMB2 is fully working. I was uh, loading up, in fact, both the 1200 and the 4000 have it all running now, and the 1200 was loading up the commonly shared LightWave content over there, doing some tests. And I just wanted to get this quick video update out for you this weekend. Thanks for watching. I'm done with this video.